Hello, everyone. I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, February 10th, 2017. Here's what's happening today. First up, some more breaking news this week. Earlier, we finally found out the official opening date of Rivers of Light would be February 17th, but it appears that it will be soft opening tonight. Rivers of Light popped up in My Disney Experience as a bookable option for FastPass Plus for a 715 performance of the long-delayed show. If you're able to get a fast pass for this showing, congratulations. The bright side is we can now truly forget the Jungle Book Alive with Magic actually happened in the same theater. Also revealed this morning, it appears that the Walt Disney Company is looking to finally take full ownership of Disneyland Paris. Disney is acquiring a 9% stake in the park from Kingdom Holding Company for two euros a share paid in shares of Disney Common Stock, and will give Disney an 85.7% holding, and they are willing to offer the same price in cash for the last remaining bit they don't own. Despite never being as popular as the domestic parks and many troubling financial problems over the years, it is promising to know that Disney does believe in the park and is willing to go the extra mile with it. Finally, Disney Cruise Line is adapting another film into a musical production for the Disney Dream, and this time it will be Beauty and the Beast. The show will be inspired by the live-action film coming out this spring that is based on the animated hit. The show will make its debut during the Disney Dream Voyage departing November 6, 2017, so book your cruise now. Today's featured article on the Diz comes from Ryan Teets, and he asks the question, has Run Disney reached its saturation point? Some posters on DizBoards.com responded saying that Run Disney is now too much of the same and there is not many differences in the courses, but to read all about it and find more great stories, head over to WDWinfo.com. Trending on the boards today is a thread on the Disney Cruise Line forum where poster Jen M. asks what things she needs to be sure to do during the first hours on the ship. Many tips are being shared, such as signing up for the free 50 megabyte data package, getting text messaging set up on the Disney Cruise Line app, and entering the spa raffle. Stop by disboards.com to add your thoughts. Today on the Diz Unplugged, our resident man-child, Rhino Clavin, has the latest episode of Diz Pop, where he and a special guest discuss the newest Marvel television show, as well as the future of Marvel on Netflix. You can find that at youtube.com slash Diz Unplugged, along with all of our shows at uh, DizUnplugged.com. Finally, your weekend weather. Out in Anaheim, expect rain today and tomorrow with highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s, but it will get better with sunny skies and highs in the 70s and lows right around 50 to close out the weekend. Here in Orlando, expect a whole lot of sun for the next couple days with temperatures hovering around 80 with lows around 60. For links to all that was discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's going to do it for me today, but we will be back with you on Monday for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone. Music.